The replay mod for Minecraft 1.19 has been released and in this video we're going to show you exactly how to download, install, and then start using the replay mod. Yes, that means we're even going to show you how to export video using replay in Minecraft 1.19. Now first things first, we do need to download the replay mod and you can find the link in the description down below that will take you here. This is our in-depth text tutorial for getting the replay mod and it actually goes over everything you need to know to get the replay mod installed should you want to use this instead of this video. However, once you're here, click on the yellow download replay mod button to be taken to the official replay mod download page. On this page, what we want to do is find the Minecraft 1.19 version. As you can see, right here it is. Come over here to the right hand side and click download and after a few seconds, the download will begin in the bottom left. While that's downloading, how about a mess from our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love just Apex so much, we host every single Minecraft server we have on Apex Minecraft Hosting and they have 24 hours, 7 day a week support. So should you get an Apex server and have issues, they are there to help. Nonetheless, you can check out Apex again at the first First link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nonetheless, once your replay mod has started downloading, you may need to keep or save the file either in the bottom left of Google Chrome or in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. It really just depends on what browser you have. However, once it's downloaded, we're not done yet. We still need to download Fabric. Fabric is the mod loader that allows the replay mod to work with Minecraft 1.19. And luckily, you can find a link in the description down below. I think it's the third link down below to here. This is our in-depth guide on getting Fabric. We're going to go over the basics in this video, but should you need more in-depth help, that's why this article exists. Let's go ahead and click on the yellow Download Fabric button, and it will take us off to Fabric's official download page, where we actually want to click on the Download Universal Jar here. The reason we want to click on that is if you download the Universal Jar, it's going to ensure that all other Minecraft mods work once you've got Fabric installed. So I always like to do that and use the Universal Jar. That way it sets you up for the future. Now, after you've clicked Download Universal Jar, you may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser, and it is 100% safe to do that. Last but not least, let's get the Fabric API. You get it, link in the description down below. And the Fabric API basically is an API mod or requirement mod for Replay Mod and a lot of other Fabric mods. So nonetheless, once you're here, go ahead and click the Download Fabric API button, and then it will take us off to a Fabric's official download page, where we're going to come over to the right-hand side, scroll down to the Minecraft 119 section, and download 119 Fabric API by clicking that orange download button. After a few seconds, the Fabric API mod will download, and guess what? We're finally done downloading things to install the replay mod. So let's go ahead and minimize our browser, and I recommend dragging in and dropping everything and moving it to your desktop. To do that, click the little Windows icon, the top left of my screen, bottom of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11, type in downloads, you have this downloads file folder here, open that up, and in here we have the Fabric API, Fabric Installer, and Replay Mod. Like I said, move all these to your desktop. It's not a requirement, but it does make things a lot easier. Now the Fabric API and the Replay Mod are both mods. Fabric Installer though is a mod loader. It's basically the thing that links these mods, Replay specifically, to Minecraft. So to get this installed, what you want to do is right click on it, click on Open With, click Java and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java or I don't have Java and my icons are broken. They look very, very weird. They don't look like yours. They're WinRAR files, something else. Well, in that case, what you want to do is download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods and servers. And guess what? The replay mod is a mod, so you need Java 17. Super simple tutorial goes through everything in depth that you would need to know on how to get Java 17 installed. And once you have it, you can go ahead and usually open up Fabric. However, in some cases, you'll still need to run the jar fix. What this is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work perfectly together. Nevertheless, we can now minimize our browser and we'll be able to right click on Fabric, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. This is going to open up the Fabric installer here where we want to make sure that Minecraft 1.19 is selected. As you can see, the 1.19 version is selected. Then click install. So I'm going to go through, install, do everything it needs to do, and come up and say successfully installed Fabric 119. There are two reasons that this might not have worked. One, you had Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher open. Either of those are the case, close out of both, and then reinstall Fabric. The second reason is that you've never played Minecraft 1.19 before. If that's the case, you want to go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.19. When you do, then you'll be able to install Fabric right like so. Nevertheless, with Fabric installed, we can go ahead and get the little replay mod installed, so let's do it. Click OK here and close out of the Fabric installer. You can also delete the Fabric installer that you downloaded. To install Fabric API and Replay Mod, we just need to open up the Minecraft Launcher. Then once the Minecraft Launcher is open, we want to find our Fabric version. Now, if you've already got one created, that's great. As you can see, Fabric Loader 119. If you have this, awesome. Or if you can click this little arrow and select it from this list, 
awesome. However, if you don't have it, what do you do? Well, in that case, make sure modded's checked. You can see we unchecked modded and fabric disappears. Check it, there it is. If it's still not here though, click new installation. You can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it fabric. 119 and or actually we'll name it replay mod 119 doesn't matter and then we're gonna go ahead and click this version drop down box here and we want to select release fabric loader and then 119 at the end right so we want to make sure release fabric loader 119 is selected then we want to go ahead and change the resolution you don't have to i'm just doing that so we can get in game and then click create now before you play the fabric loader we want to install the replay mod and to do that you want to hover over either the fabric loader that's here by default or the one that you created it doesn't matter which one of these you use, just hover over it and click on the folder icon. Now, if you're wondering how I got here, it's this installations right up here at the top. So click installations, hover over the fabric loader and click the folder icon. That's going to open up the dot Minecraft folder here where you should have a mods folder, but you might not. I don't have a mods folder in here. And if that's the case, just right click, create a new folder and title this folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Then go ahead and open up the mods folder, and now all we need to do is drag and drop replay mod and fabric API into our mods folder. Now if we come back to the Minecraft launcher, hover over the fabric loader or the fabric installation we created, click play and click play again, Minecraft will now open up with the replay mod installed. It's that simple to get the replay mod. Now. I'm going to jump in game, I'm going to record a video, but as it stands right now, we cannot get that video out of Minecraft. We need to install FFmpeg in order to do that, but first, let's jump in game, let's get a video set up and kind of record it, and then once we've done that, I will show you how to export it. So here we are in Minecraft. We have this little button right here next to a Realms, and that's the replay viewer, and this is where your replays will appear. So if we jump on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com, we will be able to uh, basically right away we'll start recording a replay and it just automatically records. If we hit escape here, we'll see recording is happening. You can stop the recording, you can pause the recording, but I'm not interested to do that right now. I'm just kind of moving through Minecraft here and moving through Breakdown Craft Aquatic Survival. And what we're gonna do is, is just kind of get a video ready to go by having all of these areas loaded. And then we can, you know, go from there to create an actual video. Here's our staff, for example, zoom back around and back through into here. And this will be good. Now, you can stop the recording, as I said, by hitting escape and clicking stop recording or disconnect. When you do that, it's gonna save it in the top right where you can like save what it is. I'm just going to name this as Breakdown Craft Aquatic One, just in case we record more. Click done and boom, now that is saved. If we come back over here to our replay viewer from the main menu, we can see there it is. Now, if we load this, we'll be able to view what is going on. Now, as you can see, boom, there we go. It needs to load the chunks, and there we are. That's me. I was in, you know, Vanish. And we can go through here and all that stuff. However, it is worth noting that at this point, if we tried to export, it wouldn't work, right? If we made a video, which I'll do real fast. So there we go. It is now uh, created, and as you can see, we have this uh, sort of cinematic kind of video going on here. I've never been great with this part of the replay mod and well that kind of shows here as my timing is way off and we're basically moving in slow motion. We're also going to be going uh, it looks like through this wall but nevertheless we do have a video here but uh, I can't render it right if I try uh, it's just not going to work. As you can see you need to install FFmpeg. So how do we do that? Well let's just go ahead and quit out of the replay mod here. We can go ahead and exit the replay right like so and quit Minecraft. Then we want to go to the description down below and go here. This is the FFmpeg download that's linked in the description. Once we're here, we want to scroll down and we want to click on installing FFmpeg. Once we do that, we'll have Windows right here. You want to click on this link next to downloading the latest FFmpeg release from. When you click on that, FFmpeg will download right away. You may need a keyboard or save the file depending on your browser, but I promise as long as you're getting it from this site, it is 100% safe to do that. Now we go ahead and minimize our browser and this is going to be in our downloads folder. So let's go ahead and grab that. We grabbed this stuff from our downloads folder earlier, so no reason for me to go more in depth with that, but here's FFmpeg. If we drag this to our desktop, we can extract it. Go ahead and right click and click on extract all, right like so, and click extract. When we do that, it's going to give us a folder, and that folder is what we need in order to get replay mod exported. However, this isn't where it needs to be. This needs to be in your .minecraft folder. But we've already been there. We've already been in our .minecraft folder. So let's go ahead and get to it again. To do that, open up the Minecraft launcher right like so. Click on installations up at the top. And then click on the folder that appears when you hover over your fabric loader. When you do that, it's going to open up this. And now just take FFmpeg and drag and drop it right in, right like so, into the .minecraft folder. 
When you open this up, you should see this. It's okay if it's two folders, right? Like so, it's perfectly normal for that to be the case. And uh, now we can go ahead and launch up Minecraft again with our fabric loader. And once we do that, we will be able to export that video. I'll also show you where to find that video once it is exported. And that'll be this video will be finished. Got a lot of video there. Anyway, we'll see you on the main menu to export our replay. From the main menu, we can actually go back into the replay here and it should have saved everything that we were doing. As you can see, it has, so that's good. Now, from there, we can click on the save button and now we can actually click render. And when we do, it's going to export this video just like that, right? You can even show a preview. I'm not going to do that because, uh, well, as you can see, it says performance may suffer and we don't want to do that. Um, we'll probably click it right till it's the end, for example, but it's exporting at this point. And once it is finished exporting and rendering this video out, you'll be able to view it and access it. And you'll have a .mp4 file that you can upload to YouTube, add into YouTube videos, anything that you want to do, you'll be able to do it. So boom, as you can see, this is the end of the video. We've actually not even seen this part of it yet. Looks pretty good, actually. But nevertheless, as you can see, performance may suffer. We've got frozen frame there, or it's my poor use of getting the keyframes going. Now, right away, you can click open video folder and it will open this folder. And boom, here is our replay. Boom, there it is in action. It's actually looking pretty decent. I wanna, I wanna see, it just goes right through this wall, doesn't it? Just right through the wall. Yeah, it's pretty poor there. But nevertheless, that is how you can get replay mod going. That's due to timing issues and things like that because it's only recording chunks that are loaded by your player and these chunks weren't loaded by my player when this is technically being recorded. Nevertheless, though, you can now upload that to YouTube. How do you get here, though, if this doesn't appear, you accidentally click close or you click do not show again, right? How do you get to it? Well, close out of Minecraft and open the Minecraft launcher. You guessed it, it's actually going to be in that .minecraft folder that keeps coming back. So if you go into installations here, hover over the fabric loader, click on that folder that appears. And if we go ahead and scroll down, we have replay videos. And here it is. Here's the replay mod video that we were just watching. Awesome stuff there. There's also replay recordings here. These are in raw formats. You can't really use them, but they are here. And if this is taking up a lot of space, you can delete these in order to, you know, free up space on your computer. But nonetheless, thank you so much for watching. That's how to get the replay mod installed, as well as FFmpeg, and then export using the replay mod. All covered in this video, super in-depth, and we hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more incredible content, and we will see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.